Spotify, man. That's up to you guys. You guys want to promote me? I'm back. Yeah, I've never left. I, I, you took me how many months? It took me literally only a couple months to get it through everybody's head that I was on my fucking way back. It's really intense. I get it. I know it's intense. I'm really that way, but to have this battle, you guys want to see my scar? Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Yeah, it up. I think, Tony, some of the reason folks were not convinced to be back soon was the scar. It looked nasty on Instagram. It is nasty. But I collect scars, man. <laughs> it's cool as fuck. Chicks dig scars. My wife loves it. <laughs> wow. Check it out. Wow. Jesus. So I mean, how many, staples, how many? How many? Staples? I've got some anchors in there. I've got. I've been kicked. I don't know how many times I said for this camp. But the fun fact is, is I, I'm a gamer, man. I'm, I'm a competitor. And when you're a competitor, look at all these top athletes that are out there, and they're doing all these different things. I kept, I, I'm listening to some of these fighters in the back and I'm telling them and, and they're talking about cutting weight and that's like the biggest, hardest part about this whole fight game. I'm like, that's the easiest. Get your shit together. Green means go. Green means growth. It's like, it's not that hard. If you prepare your own food, you're gonna lose weight cooking it. I guarantee you, you're gonna be sweating. And if you put that energy inside your food and you actually start growing your own food, you're gonna appreciate it a lot more. You're gonna start drinking a little bit more water. You're gonna add those nutrients. I wasn't bullshitting when I was talking about that stuff. It's hard to maintain a plant. How many of you guys have plants? I have a couple, right? I have roses, I have avocados, I have jalapenos, I have tomatoes growing. I'm actually fucking worried about my tomato plants right now. Cause I had to leave them. But the funny part was I had to have faith and know that, that I took care of them in the right way to be able to have that. Because if you're not there and you don't have that stimulus like everybody else, I, if, I, if I were to do this by myself, I wouldn't be here. You get that? This has been a completely group effort, even from the media, man. Even my man right here. You know, even my guy right here too. And even my boy right here from Submission Radio. Like, these are the guys that have always had my back. These are the ones that, that have always pushed me forward. Like, Luke Thomas was the one that helped me write my stuff for The Ultimate Fighter. You guys don't understand that. So I have a different kind of relationship with this cat. Me and him, we battle back and forth, man, but my lifting got better because of this shit. Did you get that? I had to fucking take on a strength and conditioning coach. And, and to be able to laugh at yourself, and to be able to grow from it, that, that says a lot more as a person and as a man. And I hope you all can take fucking notes on it. Like literally, and I know like today's a different approach for me. And I really hope that you guys see that, that it's not about who's next in line for me. It's about who's now. It really is about who's now. Like Dustin Poirier and Nate Diaz, the great fighters, man. Fuck, seriously, I remember watching the HBO thing from uh, what Dustin Poirier, right? Me and my wife, we watched that. We we're like, yeah, that's the guy that got his shit together. You know, you got Nate Diaz. He did a lot of talk, but I mean, he's Mexican. I got to fucking represent with him too. It's a different kind of a mental. It's, it's not the knee injury, like. Absolutely not. I just think that everybody's starting to pay a little bit more attention now. Um, unfortunately, injuries happen. Like I said, if you're hurt, you dust yourself off. You get back in the game. Did you ever have a moment where you thought, when you looked at the scar, you looked at the timeline, and you were a little bit, little bit down about what was going on? Did you ever have a moment where you had to sort of take it some time, or were you this positive from the get-go? I thought it was gonna be three months. I was ready to go at three to two months. Like seriously, when I broke my arm and I had staple or like my, my thing, I, I, I put so many small goals. Small goals, and I have to reiterate on all those. But I put so many small goals to myself and I, and I kept busy. I didn't like the feeling of laying in bed hurt. I didn't like that feeling of having a, like a throbbing feeling in my knee. So what I do, I got my ass up. I walked around, I started doing things, started picking up things. If you're lost in the woods and somebody's going nuts, you tell them go pick up some fucking rocks. Here, I need this color one, I need this over here, I need this. It's survival, man. I'm a survivalist. I survive in that cage, right? I, I, I shine under pressure. I'm like, I call it going diamond. And it's going hard. How hard? Fuck, you can take a piece of shit and even compact it over the years from a dinosaur and still make a fucking diamond. So that shit where you say you can't make a diamond from a piece of shit, that's bullshit. Straight up, that's bullshit. Have you, have you spoken to the UFC? Will they allow you to take your belt with you into the octagon when you walk into the fight against Anthony Davis? I don't have to walk into it with the octagon. I don't have to do it. I'm walking with it right now. And I wanted you guys to see that I carry it around. Not all the time, but I carry it around when it matters the most, which is right now. Where else have you taken it thus far? Nowhere. I don't carry my belt around. I don't walk around. I don't have people kissing my ass. I don't have people at my facility say, 
bunch of shit and just a whole bunch of people. I don't. I don't need to be. Sur I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of people. I fucking don't. I don't want that. You think I can focus when I have all you guys around me? Fuck no. You guys would be like, Tony, how do you do that shit? Oh my gosh. And it's just be like, oh wow, oh my god, here take my own. I, I don't want that. You know what? I, I save it for when the time matters and I have fun with it and I really enjoy it. I, I enjoy putting the media out there and to see what kind of reaction I can get. I'm trolling the trolls. Have you guys ever seen that? It's fucking crazy. But I love doing it because everybody thinks it's so serious. I'm just like, man, you guys are just fucking just like pew, way over. And my genius is too fa like too far fetched for a lot of you guys. Do so you believe we can look after the plants? What's that? Do you believe we can look after our plants? I believe you can. You take my notes. You yeah. guys can do that, man. Like seriously, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend to every single one of you start a plant, right? See how hard it is to maintain a fucking plant. And if you let that thing die, you probably not take care of yourself enough. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about stress. You're talking about drinking too much caffeine. You're talking about because you guys are fucking wired, man. You guys are. Like, get, 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 get. <laughs> We're up here. We're doing our thing, and I get it. I have to retalk, man. Well, Tony, do you have a point to prove? Not to others this weekend, but maybe to yourself. No, no. My point was to that next day. I, I said I went to the facility, my academy. I don't call it a gym. I'm not a jock. I'm a student. I'm a trainer. We call it academy. I call it the Sandlot, actually. So when I'm when I'm when I'm when I'm hitting up my homies, we're going to the Sandlot. I send them a meme, right? Like how I'm, I play Gift Wars. You guys see me on Twitter, right? I send like Benny the Jet Rodriguez fucking sitting there, be like this hitting the home run, and everybody's like, we're going to the Sandlot. We know what that means. That means we're going to work. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna have fun throughout the whole entire process. If you're not having fun, you're gonna get old in the sport very fucking quick. And a lot of the hype and a lot of, yes, I love it. I love the hype. I love the shit talk. I love the dollies throwing. I love the stools throwing. I love the whole aura. If you don't. Tony, uh, Anthony was just in here a minute ago saying that he wants a war on Saturday night. Do you, when you look in his eyes, do you think he, he's actually ready for that? Do you think he's got that within him to go toe to toe with you? He shook my hand like a man. Um, I laid my fern down and he didn't step in front of it. So if you guys are familiar with the way like we do, we're here. My coaches, coaches, my my crew, Coach Billy. He's a he's a badass motherfucker, and a lot of people don't understand my my crew. I know Muay Thai. I'm like a, I'm, I'm almost there to that black belt level, but I don't need a belt to tell me what level I'm at. I don't even need this belt, but it's cool as fuck, right? I love it. Just just before when you were saying that Connor ducked you, uh, in an interview you spoke about how when he looked at you at Pettis, he wasn't really that excited to come back. What, what did you make of that? I think he's more excited about drinking proper whiskey on his fucking, uh, <laughs> on the stage. What kind of a knucklehead is going to be drinking like that in front of everybody, trying to set an example? I get it. You got money. It's chill. You want to come back to this sport and you're not taking 150% serious, you're going to get fucking hurt, regardless of who's in front of you. Anthony Pettis and myself, we're the true main event. You have Khabib, he's got a lot of heat, man, same as I. Connor's got a lot of heat. We, we get heat from everybody. You guys gotta realize, if you're the champ, you're not the champ, we get heat from all the media. You guys set the standard, and that's the one part that I really dislike about it. Because if there's some kind of news, good news, bad news, fake news, you guys fucking run with it. But I'm not gonna criticize you guys. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say that it's up to us to be able to promote that media, and you guys to either see yes or no, we're not gonna promote it. And that's gonna make or break you guys really in the end. Because the fans see it now. The fans see the truth, they see the shit. I've opened their eyes for this stuff. You get what I'm saying? And they're following me. I've, I've, I've opened up my demographics. You guys realize that I've what, quintupled my numbers? And I haven't even fought? In a year, I've fucking, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of followers I have, but it's not about followers. It's about actually making a difference. So. What does everyone here have to stay Are you keeping along those lines? Thank you.
to be real, this is a stylistic matchup. I see him starting to throw some elbows, but he's throwing them wrong. Um, I'm the elbow machine inside there. And like I said, in Josh Thompson, he pissed me off. He stepped over my front, so let me reiterate back to that story. Anthony Pettis, I opened my hand. Now look, you can either be condescending, or you can be very open when you meet people. So watch how people start shaking your hands. I'm gonna share that with you, okay? So just start watching how people start shaking your hands and how you start shaking people's hands. So that way you can alter and you can actually put your mindset if you really want to start fucking with those guys. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Pettis is a genuine guy. I see that, he's got his kid. We don't like bullies, you get that? Sometimes the media are bullies, man, and sometimes you guys feed the trolls. But I, fuck, I'm not a troll. You guys watch that movie Trolls? Yeah, it's fucking crazy, right? I'm not one that was all so depressed and I fucking found my shit. Which is cool as fuck, man. It's awesome. I love it. This is my shit.